I will be graduating with uh, a Bachelor of Arts, uh, General Studies. I never planned on, on finishing a degree here, so uh, it's quite surprising for me too that I stuck around for four years, um, but uh, hopefully use it for something, uh, for something back home. You know, the whole experience, it was, uh, it was a good team, good facilities. Uh, the school looked nice um, and then just had to jump out on it, uh, had to try it and uh, haven't regretted it since. Have to be Nationals, uh, unreal experience, uh, just the team, everyone around it, it was, it was unbelievable. I don't even know, it was, it was crazy. Uh, everything you dream about coming here, didn't maybe believe it was possible, but um, yeah, unbelievable. What do you think your legacy is going to be? How are they going to remember you in the locker room? Hopefully as the, as the tough Dane. Um, no, as a nice guy, good player, and um, yeah, I think I'm a, I'm a better player now. Uh, on the field, off the field, a lot more mature, calm, um, a lot more studious, I would say. Being on the field with the guys, the, the whole college soccer, uh, soccer thing of it is unmatched. Like you can't get that anywhere in Europe, you can't get it most places over here. So I'm gonna miss the guys, I'm gonna miss the whole team and yeah. My undergrad was a Bachelor's of Geography uh, with a minor in Environmental Economics. And my Master's degree, I'm graduating with a Master's of Science uh, studying a herd of caribou in Northern BC. I really enjoy research, especially wildlife research, uh, and I'm looking to do a PhD after I graduate. Uh, I'm not too sure where just yet or what I'll be studying, but I'm hoping to do uh, a wildlife species, uh, possibly a PhD in caribou ecology or wolverine ecology as well. I definitely didn't take a conventional route to masters or possibly a PhD. I grew up in England, like you said. Believe it or not, it started with beavers. I was really interested in beavers when I was growing up um, and they're bringing beavers back to the UK. And in high school, some of my friends, uh, we started fundraising for beaver reintroduction and one thing led to another and here I am studying caribou. I think one of the major reasons was, was coach John Antolov. Uh, I'll be honest, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the, the trust that he put into me as an 18 year old. Uh, I had one offer to come and play soccer in Canada and it was TRU and I'll be honest, the, the longer I'm here, the more I realize that was the best decision I've ever made. So yeah, I owe a lot to, to coach John for the, the faith he put in me as a, a young player, but yeah, the opportunity to, to live in Canada, to go to school in Canada was something I couldn't turn down. I have family in Quebec, uh, which was a big reason as well. Um, but yeah, coming to Kamloops was probably one of the best things I ever did. I think obviously winning nationals, there's not much that can beat it. Uh, I'd say possibly my first ever game, uh, it was against UFV on this field right here. I was 18 years old and we won. Uh, that was a really special moment for me. And I'm hoping this weekend, my last ever game is going to be just as special as well. I probably just want to say a thank you to all the professors uh, that I've had at TRU as well. They've probably just been, a, they've been just as influential to my career as the coaching staff here at TRU have been. Uh, so thank you to my professors, my teammates, uh, for all the support they've given me too. Yeah, it's a tough one to explain. I mean, playing for this program literally means the world to me. You know, I've been here for six years now. I've grown so much as a person, as a player, you know, on and off the field. And, to represent this school and this town is a really special thing for me and so yeah to think it's coming to an end is, is not something I'm quite ready to accept just yet. Um, I'd say it's quite the feeling when you realize you're going to dress up in that changing room for one last time and that would be it so yeah definitely going to be an emotional night but yeah it would be a really special way to finish my career here at TAU.